How's it going everyone? This is DL2K with a new series on my channel called What If. Now I know a lot of other channels do stuff like this, but this is going to be my take on it and different types of things that I can do and I want to see happen. So in this episode we're going to be doing What If all the high school teams had their players in the, in the NBA at the moment and who would win the championship and stuff like that. So going into the rosters, um, we chose every single team so that we can go through them like really easily. Um, so as you can see here, it's it's a combination of the school's best high school players and their best players all around. So like you can see here, Lonzo Ball is on the 76ers. High te every single NBA team has high school players, but with a combination of NBA players too. So you can see here Derrick Rose is still on the Bulls. Um, LeBron James on the Cavs. But there's also a, a lot of teams here that do not have any high school players. Like if you go to the Knicks or no sorry. If you go to the Raptors for example they have their entire NBA team. And other teams are the same. So that might make this a bit hard for us, but it, I'm not too concerned about that. So we're going to go ahead right into it, and we're going to sim until the trade deadline or all-star game to see where we are at in the standings and who is doing well. So what I believe is going to happen is that the, NBA, the actual NBA teams are going to be doing way better than... The high the teams that are, that have high. We're gonna take a look at the conference standings, and it's exactly what I expected. Two NBA or one NBA team like the Raptors being in first place because they do have the, all their NBA players. We're actually in third, but I guess that's because our overalls are quite high. So going down to the bottom of the standings here, we have a team that has only high school players. So that's pretty much what I expected too. They would be they would they would be doing much worse than teams that have all their NBA players like the San Antonio. So we're gonna sim to the end of the season and we're gonna see where we are at the end. So we're actually doing way better than I thought. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the 76ers. So we can keep on track with them. And yeah, so pretty much. Oh, okay. I keep clicking the wrong button. My apologies. So we're going to go back down here. Go to the end. Simulate game. And we're going to go this one right here. Oh, we're going to leave it here. Um, the Knicks, they're doing very bad. Obviously, they are, their team is not doing good at all. Um, but I believe the Raptors are going to be first at the end of this. They already were doing very well. Or the Spurs. You never know between those two. Because they both have their entire NBA team. So... It's going to be hard to say. So that's the end of the season. Let's go take a look at the standings. So I, like I thought, you have Toronto and then you have San Antonio. So yeah, the Chino Hills team did very well. They came in third in the conference. And now we're going to go through playoffs to see what will happen at the end of playoffs. So we're taking a look at the season awards here. So we have Zion Williamson winning MVP and Rookie of the Year, obviously. Brandon Knight winning six man. It's kind of hard when you have high school players in front of you and you're on the bench. So defensive, you know, LeBron James is still in the league. He won Defensive Player of the Year. D'Angelo Russell won most improved on the Clippers, Coach of the Year, Terry Stott. He had a full high school team, so it's kind of, you know, when you're doing that well, then you have to win Coach of the Year. So we're going to head into the playoffs now, and we'll see who won. 
So after one round, we have Toronto going up against Detroit. In the second round, we have Chicago and Philly, Houston versus Utah, and Portland versus Golden State. So you actually had an upset in the first round here, where Utah beat out San Antonio 4-1. to one. So we're going to simulate this round, and we'll see you in the next round to tell you who got through and who got eliminated. So we're back into the next round, which is the conference finals. So you have Toronto versus Chicago, and you have Portland versus Houston. So once again, we had and not we had no upsets this round, which is not surprising at all. And we're gonna simulate to the finals, and we'll see who will be facing off in the finals. So as expected, we have Toronto versus Portland in the NBA Finals. So this kind of failed because of the fact that Toronto did have their entire NBA team, but you know, it still kind of worked because we did have teams like Philly getting into the second round against a team of Chicago that did have Derrick Rose. So I'm not really complaining. This kind of did work on my end because I did enjoy it. So we're gonna f simulate this and then we'll see who wins the finals here. So, a big congratu congratulations goes out to Portland, who won the NBA Finals. So, they beat out Toronto, who... Oh, well, I guess they both had their own NBA teams. So, Portland beat out Toronto 4-2. Toronto blew a 2 nothing lead, if you want to say. So, that is going to end this video. It might have been a fail, but not in my end. I really, I really enjoyed making this video. So like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what I should do next. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.